Hey, what's going on guys? Al Dushay here. And today I just want to do uh, a video about some odds and ends. Um, not even a haul, not autographs, just things that I've accumulated over the over the week and things I've done. Um, first, I stopped at the local ARC. It's a Goodwill, um, basically, if you don't have an ARC in your area. It's kind of like a Goodwill. And just to check out the DVDs they have there. And I picked up a few. I picked up the... Um, late 70s version of Invasion of the Body Snatchers with Donald Sutherland, Star Trek Nemesis, and I, th I think I, once I bought this I thought, I think I have this at home already, uh, 8 Mile, all very good movies, definitely, and they're only $2.99 each, so cheaper than uh, a rental online. Um, and, um, recently I stopped at the local Gameworks, it's a, uh, arcade chain, and there's a, uh, a location in the Denver area where I am, and, um, I've had some issues with Gameworks in the past, I stopped in there once, uh, a couple years ago, and, um, just to check it out, and it seemed like a majority of the games were, um, uh, inoperative, out of order, things like that. I left um, honest feedback on, on Google and um, the company contacted me right away, wanted to rectify the situation. Um, went and talked to the owner, or not the owner, the, um, the manager. Um, hooked me up with some gift card, not gift cards, but um, free play cards where I could play the games but I couldn't accumulate prizes and things like that. Used a couple of them. Um, and that's been a couple years ago, almost two years ago. And uh, I, ha I was in the area the other day. I was I, w I had the urge to stop by to give them a second chance. And um, I uh, I bought a, a credit card, a card for with credits on it um, to play yeah, the actual games. And I, I scored a few points. I got a, a jackpot on the big spin wheel where you push the lever down and the big wheel spins around. Got a thousand points on that. Accumulated some more points. I, uh, I racked up a few points in a, in a short amount of time, and um, I went to their um, the prize room or whatever where you could where you could claim some prizes, and I picked up a Games Works a Game Works uh, shot glass. I kind of collect shot glasses, so that would be cool. That would look pretty cool. And when I was there a couple of years ago, I picked up this Pac Man. Uh, flying disc, it's not a pretty brand, and I um, wanted to continue the theme with the Pac-Man, so I picked up this Pac-Man mug right there, so I thought it was pretty cool. I'll put that up here on a desk somewhere and stick something in it. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, it was a cool experience this time, but unfortunately, I went there for uh, specifically the uh, coin pusher games. I wanted to try to get some... Uh, uh, the cards that are in the po coin pusher games and they had a, a f two or three I think and two or three of the sides of the coin pusher games that I saw that day the other day um, were out of order and only one out of the th I think three machines in the game works um, where they're sectioned off I think it's in thirds only one out of the three uh, games had actual cards that you could win if you they were pushed over the edge. So I was kind of disappointed on that, but the majority of the other games were functional, and I, like I said, I did rack up some points. And um, so I'll give them a pass this time. I'll go back again. I still have some credits on my uh, my GameWorks card. But uh, I thought that was pretty cool, the Pac-Man mug, and the, uh, the packaging is pretty cool. I don't know if I want to take it out of the package. I probably will. And it's this Pac-Man right there. It's pretty awesome. So a while back, I uh, I got into the minifigs uh, craze just for a short amount of time. And I uh, accumulated a lot. I was collecting the uh, Harry Potter and the uh, Fantastic Beast figures and uh, Family Guy figures and Super Mario figures. And uh, I made videos about those a while back. But I thought the best way to display them was 
on big flat um, boards like this, which was good. I could put all my figures on here from the set, but it took up a lot of real estate in this small office. This thing is big and I don't have a lot of shelf space. And um, I finally stopped today and got some of this, um, I think it's Mica, M-A-K-M-A-Y-K-A -A -A tape, uh, block tape right here where it's, it has an adhesive on the back and it's rubbery and I uh, transferred a lot of my uh, minifigs onto that and I can kind of show you right here and they display much better so I put these guys right here let me see go backwards this is the family guy I've got some Marvel superheroes Horror movie killers, Mario Brothers, some Halo, and the Ninja Turtle, and they all fit on there very fairly well. And I actually put some of the Harry Potter figures right here. Let's see if I'm looking in the wrong direction. But I underestimated the need for um, um, the length of the tape I needed. So I already am in short supply. I can't display everything right now. And this this tape is really cool, but getting it to start peeling off this backing right here is a pain in the neck. It's not user friendly whatsoever. But once you get it off, it's it's good. So I had to get a razor blade and kind of worm my way down here to get a section off. And once I got it good, I could peel it off and. It sticks very well, and I'm gonna have to get some more because I have quite a few more figures to uh, to uh, display. But when I was in the minifig craze for a, a brief moment, I uh, I found a Dollar Tree that they have their own minifigures, and here's a few of them right there. And I've gone over these in a video before. But I, the name implies Dollar Tree, so you can get the figures and a, uh, a vehicle or the figures and whatever for a dollar. And the bases are a dollar also. Very, very cheap, and they're great for displaying a set of figures that you might have. And you can actually put it vertically and, and attach the figures to there and put it somewhere like that on the wall or whatever. So I thought that was pretty cool, but I've got a bunch of them now that I don't really need. Got a stack of these bases. But um, for a dollar, you can't go wrong. It's definitely pretty cool. And uh, I think that's it for today. It's just kind of a hodgepodge, odds and ends thing. Um, went to GameWorks, gave them a second chance. They get a pass this time. Some games were out of order, but for the most part, it was a good experience. And um, got some of the... Uh, minifigure tape, block tape right there with the adhesive on the back. Definitely a thumbs up if you can get the adhesive uh, strip off there. Very, very, very cool. And um, some DVD pickups. I haven't seen Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I think this is from 1978-79. This is a remake from the original um, in quite a while. And if you've seen this movie and the, the, the final scene, it, it still shocks me. There's a scene in this movie that still haunts me to this day. I don't really get scared or frightened or disturbed over movies, but there's a scene in this movie that it's still hard for me to watch to this day. The, uh, the body snatchers will assimilate and copy the, uh, the victim. And um, the aliens, they take over a man and his dog in the same at the same time and put the two together and there's a scene where the dog walks in with a human face and it still disturbs me to this day after all these years. I look it up online once in a while um, because I'm a glutton for punishment and I, I look at it and it's still one of the few scenes um, in movie history that really disturbs me. It might not disturb you, it might be silly to you, but it kind of just bothers me. So. I'm still going to watch it. I'll still watch that scene. Um, definitely will watch 8 Mile again. It's a good movie. And 
the Star Trek series, the Next Generation series of these cinematic releases gets quite a bit of grief, but I like them. I, I watch movies for the story, not the effects, not the actors. I, I watch for the story, and I'll be... Uh, I can't remember the last time I saw Nemesis. It's been a while. But, um, yeah, that's it. I think that's it for today. Um, just a roundup of odds and ends. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Take it easy. Bye.